So you're really a writer? Like, for a living? I'm, I'm, I'm really a writer. I just, I just don't really make a living in it. When you're writing, it's just not something that we can publish. Maybe you should try something new. Like what? There's this guy who walks into a cafe, mm -hmm. and then he meets this girl. The single most amazing woman he's ever met. And then what? I don't know. You're the writer. I just provide the inspiration. I can't even remember the last time I did this. You see, that's exactly why you need to be doing it. Dreamy. That's right. Oh. Ah! oh I am so... Ow. Agile. Coordinated. My dad always said that they fell in love the first night that they met. I don't know, do you think that's even possible? With me, one girl is all it took. How did you know she was the one? She inspired me. So how's the writing going? Better than it's been in a long time, I think. I'm her brother, David. Hey, Ethan. Is there any future with this guy? Depends. Depends on what? Excuse me. I try not to be one of these crazy men who asks random girls he meets in restaurants for their phone numbers. But I have this strange feeling that if I don't make an exception this one time, I'm really gonna regret it. Wow. So you're assuming there's gonna be a next time? I hope so. I think secrets are an important part of every relationship. <sighs> Wouldn't you agree? You have no idea. Other guys are probably interested in you, and they're probably much better looking than me. It's funny how life never turns out the way you think it will. David tells me your love life has taken a recent leap in activity. Yeah, you could say that. Will you marry me? Run away with me. Am I making a mess? No. Oh. I don't know. Maybe. Hey, wait, um, if I need some inspiration, can I maybe call you and get some? Inspiration. I meant get some inspiration.